I'm in a data center right now and my manager just sent me a troubleshooting ticket via my smartphone. Apparently I need to test one of these 10 GB switches that's been acting up. The only problem is the tester I have right here, it's missing the software option key to enable the 10 GB capability. But you know what I just realized? My manager told me these units have the capability to grab a software option key from the cloud. Something called FTB Anywhere. So I need an internet connection to get to the cloud and I'm in a data center right now. There's no internet in here. So let me get out my uh, 3G dongle. This should be a guarantee to get me on. It's great that I can use this dongle because it allows these FTB1s to connect to the internet anywhere, anytime, and any place. So I'm just gonna connect to our network. Great, I have a connection to our to the internet now. So what I can do next is, I'm gonna start on my Expo Connect client here. I can see that I have my link is up. That's great, that's because of the 3G dongle. But now I'm gonna try and connect actually up to the cloud, the Expo Connect cloud. So we'll give it a few seconds to connect up here. There it is. We're now connected with the cloud. I can see there's a connection to the server. We're doing some exchanging, some data uploads, file uploads, software downloads, license downloads. So everything is, is working well. And the complete synchronization, it's been completed. So now if I go over to my option manager, we'll take a look at what this product actually has. If I scroll down here, right away I can see that this 880 has every single option enabled except for the 10 giggy. And this is actually what I need to test today is the 10 giggy, uh, 10 giggy switch behind me here that's been acting up. So even though the unit itself is missing the key, I'm gonna actually go into the cloud because I'm connected to the Expo cloud. I'm connected onto the floating and I can see that there's one available key. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign that key directly to this unit. So what ha what's happening right now is that I'm going up to the Expo Connect Cloud, I'm grabbing that key, and I'm putting it directly into the FTB 880. And this should take a matter of about 30 seconds here. Sure enough, we can see here that the key is actually successfully assigned to this 880. And to activate this option, we just need to restart the module. So we should see here now that this will go from a red to a check mark and this unit is now loaded up with this option. So let me just go ahead and start up the FTB 880. All right, so I started back my module and I wanna run my traffic generation and monitoring test. I'm just gonna check my interfaces here and sure enough now I have the 10 giggy LAN, 10 giggy WAN. So I'm gonna take the 10 giggy LAN test. We're just gonna hook up our, our fiber optic cable here. That's a great sign. We have our link up here. Perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and start my test. Apparently this thing's been acting up, but I can see right away that we're running at 10,000 megabits and this thing is just flying. So everything looks great here. Throughput is good. Package jitter is good. Latency is good. I don't see any issues. I'll just uh, shut it down. That's great news. Well, this wouldn't have happened without FTB Anywhere being able to download that software option key directly to this unit. It really got me out of a jam within, within minutes. That's pretty amazing.